I've gone out on a little exploratory voyage this morning to the little place of Lilstock. Uh, it's far from the beaten track and this car park is very... Um, <laughs> the back of beyond. Just driven down this very potholed track. And you see this notice as you get near the car park. And as you see, man is in the car here. On the race, nice Sunday morning. And uh, Though it's not immediately obvious, I think I've got to have to walk on through a gate up that way to get towards the coast. Yeah. First glance, it looks like a pretty solid gate, but I think I could see there's a space where you can walk around the side of it. So let's go down there and explore. Yeah, this is obviously the way you can go in. Strangely angled gate. No notices or anything. Looks as if there might have been once a notice there. But way out in the countryside here, not far from uh, Holford on the road to Bridgewater. If you want to get away from it all, Seems like a good place to go. It's a curious place this because I believe many, many years ago it was an active port. But after several storms the port got demolished. Even the housing and the inlet got silted. Eventually the whole place was abandoned. And I've heard there are some relics to be seen in the old town. Well, it's not a town, a few houses. I think there was once a pub. And uh, I'm hoping to see what there is there now. But very little, I understand. Nobody ever talks of going to Lilstock, but it is on the coast, so... I thought a morning trip here, a nice day, might be worth the effort. I just walked up this slope. Entrance to a field there. And just around this bend is obviously the entrance to some sort of coastal beach. Cars don't come up here. But uh, we should get a good view of um, Steep Home out in the channel. I know it's around high tide, so this could be interesting. Oh, there's a sign there. England Coast Pass, killed two miles. All right. Oh, we're not far from the power station over there, Hank Hinkley Point. Still uncertain whether they're going to build more there. And there's Steep Home straight out there. And here is the rocky beach. Danger, keep clear livestock. Oh, a little stock. Out, out, out something, out for. Is that a little river or something there? Danger, keep out, what could it be? That might have been a river at one time. Don't see much water down there now. Maybe I hear some, or it might be just the waves behind me. Somehow I think that sign there has been wrongly placed. <laughs> We don't mean to go down in there. Anyway, let's have a look at this beach. 
being high tide of course it's perhaps smaller than it would normally be at low tide. I've heard tales of uh, large rocks here but it uh, doesn't look out of the way. I think I can see the power station in South Wales over there. I have a thaw. No sign here of any habitation or signs of a port. But I'm not wanting to do that lane in the moment, see what's down there. Looks as if the beach drops down into the sea quite steeply here. Oh, there's another little walkway in that way, lane. I wonder where the old port was, what's direction. Perhaps I'll start by walking down over there and see what's down there. I wonder where the ships are in Watchet Marina and at Minehead. You hardly ever see a ship in these waters. I believe it's deeper further out, but you think pleasure ships would be motoring around here, wouldn't you? Looking over towards Western Supermare there in the distance. Another station. This woods over there to my right. Alright, let's go down this path a little further. Oh, I think I've come to the end of this little pathway, so it seems there's a pile of rocks there. Or beach ahead if you can get to it. And uh, just down to my right, bit of a, not hardly a pathway, but evidence that people have gone down to the lower level there. I wonder if this whole beach was artificially constructed to save the sea going any further inland. No idea where the uh, old houses used to be. Or the port walls. Let's get past this pile of rocks. Oh, is there? What's that there? Something. Thank you for putting a pebble on this pile. This is where my wife all these ashes are scattered. Oh. Huh. Someone used to come here and enjoy the walk, I guess. No, see if we can find a pebble and make that taller. Oh, there's even my little toy jeep there. Do you believe that? Oh, some child probably left that there. That's very unusual. I think you need one of those to get across this part of the beach. Right down onto the beach now. Small rocks here. Alright, let's put a pebble on the top. Oh. I'm building it up anyway. That's unexpected. A bit more of a breeze here. I think you can make out uh, Flat home behind Steep Home, there where the lighthouse is. Job to see my screen and this bright sun. If Steep Home, just over there, I think I could just make out the lighthouse of Flat Home. But 
I can't really see what my viewfinder is seeing. Bay. You can imagine this being a port at some time ago, how they got access to the road network. I don't know. Go a little further that way and see if there's anything different. Looking back at that pile of rocks and down this lower level, there are traces of a wall. Look, could that have been part of a building at one time? I wonder if I can get closer and see it's any more. I'd be a bit dangerous getting down there though because it's quite steep. There's that wall, part of it. Or was it part of a, not just a wall, but a building? Oh, very uneven down in the foot. Can't tell what that was. Right down. Oh, this whole thing, yes. It goes around there. Could have been a wall or a building. Could even have been a harbour wall, I suppose. The sea used to come in here. It's possible. Yeah, this is a Low level valley. What could be down in here besides that? Anything? We'll go exploring, we've got all day. And the wood to my left looks pretty impenetrable. See that could have grown up over old buildings. Yeah, I've got me intrigued now. I wonder what to uh, be able to see to see photographs as to what this place was like in earlier days. Little old stock. You can imagine you're walking down the street of an old town. But apart from that bit of brickwork, I've not seen any other signs of uh, habitation. Fluttering the wings up in the trees there, but I don't see what it was. The birds could live out here quite undisturbed. But I uh, don't fancy the idea of breaking through that undergrowth to get into the wood. But there are old stones on the floor, old, old pebbles. Could this have been the surface of a primitive roadway? Or could this even have been under the sea at some time? Seems to be coming to the end of this little valley. As I can see from here. Oh, is that another wall in there? Going into the wood. Yeah, I think it is. Something down in there, look. Huh. Again, a wall of something. People have been here, look, they've made a little fire here at some stage. 
that's camped here. Yeah, really is a back of beyond place to camp. Not peace and quiet though, gosh. Jumping in the round little valley. Oh, another wall ahead of us. Got big blocks used on that one. Everything growing up on top of it. Huh. Yeah, it must have taken a lot of effort by somebody a long time ago to build something. They're all abandoned. Right. Well, I know there's a place in Cornwall they call the Lost Gardens of Heligan. Well, it's a place in where's Somerset, the lost town of Lilstock, village. Okay. Have to do up some really old documents to find uh, what these buildings were. I guess it used to be a fisherman's uh, port, that's where we all. Uh, so I just um, try and get up this little pathway here. <coughs> I can call it a pathway. Oh, grasshoppers everywhere. Job has not been too wet recently. Make this slippery. All right, I'm up and over the top. Looking back down to that little corner. That'd be a good place for blackberries, but uh, towards the end of September. Okay. Right, I'm back at that signpost again. I think we'll walk some way towards Kilv. So we're leaving images of the park station behind. Oh, real slows. Yeah. Can make wine from slow, slow wine. There are plenty of them here. Rutberries coming along. Let's just open out a bit here. Well, it's fields behind there. There are bigger rocks obviously placed here. The sea defences.
amazing too. Uh, you can imagine how remote this place is. But here is still a remains of a lookout point, possibly a gun emplacement from the last war. <laughs> we had the concrete. I guess I can imagine there was a gun in there, shooting at any unwanted ships. In the Bristol Channel. What a lonely spot to be on duty, eh? That's probably the remains of the pathway down to the rear of it. Hmm. I don't think there's anything left inside. Let me look down and see. It's dark in there. <laughs> Beer cans. A little bit of graffiti. Nope, nothing really left. A little hole there, I wonder what that would have been for. Mm. Certainly had good coverage of this part of the channel. beach here, Peter's out really, just these rocks. Yeah, just going into open farmland behind. Just beginning to see the high ground behind mine head in the distance now. And also signs of some fellow walkers coming this way, I think. Just coming over the crest. Right. Yeah, I think they've changed their mind and we've placed their steps now. I know there's an area in this part of the channel set out for target practice. Um, uh, I have in the past heard explosions going on 
as far away as in Mochit where we live, but uh, not in, not for a long time. And those could be the marker boys where shipping is told to keep clear. But again, I'm having trouble since seeing it in my viewfinder. Not the viewfinder, my display screen. Now that's a ship. Oh, it's over this way, those boys in the ship. Where are they? Too small, I can see the way they make it eye, but not my viewfinder. Some of these RG deposits are quite interesting. Most are sort of yellow splodges. Every now and again you get a variation on that, like down there. And you get circles. And over there can almost be writing. I could well be saying it's 8 degrees centigrade and there's a picture of someone who uh, <laughs> wrote it. I thought I heard the cry of a curlew then like often you start recording and you don't hear it again. Path is getting a bit stonier. Rougher. I see some gates at the end there. We already, we actually probably can get through there, although we wouldn't have had that sign up, would they? But it's not a good place to be looking in the viewfinder in the screen of a camcorder. God, I could lose my footing. That's, um, wait until we see something more significant. Yeah, I think that's the uh, white building of Butlins at Minehead in the distance now. And I zoom into that. It does stand out on this coast quite nicely. See for miles away. I think that's what that is. Yes, I'm sure it is. So we're looking at Minehead now. Quite some distance away. Quite interesting colours in some of these rocks. There's a house way in the distance there. farm where you can see the sun shining on windscreens of some vehicles over there. Otherwise this is a very remote spot. <laughs>
can see the strata in the cliffs over there, how the earth has got bent at some time in its past history. difficult to get down on the beach from this location. Got a steep drop there. Amazing with there's only sort of framework of soil. Flowers in the pan and grow. Amazing the colouring in some of these rocks. If you were to ask an artist to paint a rock you had in your garden pond, you can never match that. That's beautiful, really, just a natural colouring. Beyond this fence, which I assume we can get through, does appear to be a display board. Let's go through and see what that says. Just looking back through the little swing gate, steep out in the distance. Well, that breeze underway here. Oh, quite a nice, looks like a modern display board here. Not something old and weathered. This looks good. Hill stuff, okay. All sorts of information on it then. Couldn't wish for anything better. Right, let's see if I can get a good steady uh, recording of what it sounds. Probably the best thing to do is to pause the video at this point if you want to read it. Oh, yeah, they're talking a bit about the harbour here. Hard to believe, but in the 1830s a small harbour was built here by Sir John Ackland around the Little Stock Stream. It ran almost parallel with the beach before running out to sea. The harbour was used to bring in coal from Wales for domestic use and on the Ackland Estates and to fire a large unit land kiln. We used to export wooden pit props to South Wales like that. The whole place was destroyed by storms after the First World War. Oh. Right, so from where we are on that red blob, Walking on the coast, as far as watch it. Although the last little section we know doesn't actually allow you to walk on the coast past Starfield, even though they claim to have put in that new bridge. You can't get beyond there. That's one day. 
and so on down the coast of Blue Anchor. Dunster Beach and Winehead. Okay, so on the game down to Porlock eventually. Porlock Weir. Well, at least let's get to that headland and see the view from there.